I think most women who have a brain in their head understand that they're going to need to do things to stay healthy as they get older. A 30 or 40 year old woman, eh, it's not that big a deal to think about osteoporosis. But as you get older, in your 40s and 50s, especially if you're long and lean, blue eyed, blonde haired, fair skinned, fair people who are long and lean have the highest risk of osteoporosis. If I saw 50 women walking down the street, I could tell you without a scan which ones are most likely to have osteoporosis on the basis of their frame, long and lean, and if they're not muscular. So if you, as a woman, or as a man who loves a woman, know someone who's not muscular and or working out, who's long and lean, for preventive medicine, there's no better treatment. Your muscle mass will reflect your bone density. I can do a bone scan, and that will give me more information, but I can tell you just looking at you, if your muscles are thin and weak and insufficient, you will have thin bone. The Journal of the American Medical Association, part of the, the cred that everyone uses in conventional medicine to say whether or not something's important, just came out September 25th with an article that said, bone scanning, do it one time after that, eh, it doesn't make that big a difference. We know that women will lose about a half a percent of bone per year for the rest of their life if they don't do anything different. Well, what do you do with that? Take calcium. Not enough. Calcium, magnesium, boron, silicon, vitamin K, hormones. Hormones are brilliant. If you take a pelletized testosterone supplement, somewhere between three and 7% increase in bone density annually, as opposed to medications that have risks of jaw fractures and breakdown and esophageal erosion and holes in your GI tract. If you have to have them, I guess you have to have them. It's never my preference. It's always my preference to use the natural calcium, boron, magnesium, silicon, vitamin K, vitamin D, I think I neglected to mention that, and hormone therapy. Safe hormone therapy, properly selected, makes all the difference in the world. And the bone scanning at four years, five years, six years, the journal said, doesn't really make any difference. Doesn't change the risk fracture or the risk of fracture. And I can tell you, I can change your risk of fracture and you can change your risk of fracture by taking great care of yourself. Get with a doctor who understands this. We're better together.